Hi, in this first tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you how to customize the map names on your GPS. And the reason you might consider custom map names is to give you independent control of our background map and our trail map when they're both installed on your GPS. Uh, so first let me say that some older model GPSs don't support custom map names. Um, so you won't be able to do this uh, with those models. The NUVI 500 and 550 is one of those models that does not support custom map names. Um, so the first example I'm going to show you is where only one map is presented on the GPS after both maps are installed. And the Garmin Montana and uh, most other handheld GPSs um, behave this way. So to give you an example, I'll show you a screenshot image of the Montana map information display. Um, when uh, currently both maps are installed, you still only get one listing here among all the maps. Um, and this one listing enables both the background map and the trail map at the same time. Uh, you can only, either they're both enabled or they're both disabled. So what we want to do here is get two separate listings here that we can enable, disable independently. So to do that, we need to connect the uh, GPS up to the computer, and we need to access the files and folders on that GPS. Um, so we want to go to a regular My Computer window. And sometimes you'll get a, a little splash screen that asks you, uh, when you connect the GPS, it asks you if you want to look at the the files and folders, um, in which case you would say you would. Uh, but you can always bring up a, a My Computer window. You'll see the Garmin listed here. Um, and the map files on, on a GPS are stored in one of two folders, either this Garmin folder or another folder that may be listed here called Map. It depends on the model. So in the case of the Montana, we want to drill down into the Garmin folder and you'll see, if you click on the Garmin folder, you'll see uh, a number of folders and files. Um, your GPS Trail Master's trail map will be listed uh, in this folder, and it'll have a name uh, with GPS Trail Master's uh, in the name and other information about the type of map and the version, and it'll have an extension of .img. If your GPS does not support custom names, then the you won't be able to, to see a GPS Trail Master's file name. You'll see something called GMAPSUP, uh, which is not on this particular GPS. If you see GMAPSUP.IMG, then it does not support custom map names. So this is how it will look um, when you have the trail maps in store, installed normally. So what we want to do here for this, this trick is go to Basecamp and install the maps using install maps as normal. So we want to, we want to customize and we want to do the advanced partial install. And so in this case we already have one map selected, and you can see it's the larger uh, green shaded background area. And so what we want to do is right click to unselect that and move down into the trail area. And you can, the trail area is indicated by the name down in this upper lower right corner when you mouse over it. So you'll see main ATV trails. And if you mouse to the background area, you see background map. So as we move down to the trails area, and you see the, the area highlighted in a yellow rectangle. And if we left click, uh, it'll select that map, and it'll shade it to indicate that it's selected. And we'll see one total map selected here. So we want to install the trails. So we go back to our My Computer window, and, and we'll see the same trail, see the same file name here. We'll have today's date. And what we want to do here is we want to 
rename this map file to be trails. And then what we want to do, and this is important, we want to uh, get a copy of it. So we'll just drag a copy of this over to our desktop uh, to save because this file is going to get overwritten in the next step. So we go back to Basecamp and we do install a map again. We customize advanced partial. And this time we see the trails is still shaded. We want to right click to disable that trails. And you'll see we go to zero maps. And then we want to mouse over the background area and left click to select the background map. So we have one map selected now and we want to continue to install that map. We bring back our My Computer window and you'll see that the file name has been changed back uh, to the normal GPS Trail Masters file name. So now we want to rename this map to be background. And then we want to bring our other trail map that we saved in the prior step back into the folder. And so now we have two maps stored in the folder. And so what you'll see when you disconnect the, the GPS and you go to the map information screen, so you go to the map information, select map, and what you'll see now is you'll see two separate listings that can be enabled and disabled independently uh, with the names that we gave it. Trails, so you know this one is the trails. Background, you know this one is the background. And so now you can select and unselect any combination of trails with our background map or the factory installed uh, worldwide dem base map that comes with your uh, Montana and you can do all of this out in the field um, you know without having to reinstall. So the second example that I want to show you is with um, the Nuvies. So I'm going to uh, connect a Nuvi model 2555 uh, because um, this particular GPS um, has a, an issue where uh, although both maps are installed and listed independently, if you uncheck one, the GPS will automatically uncheck the other. Um, so this trick will, will help eliminate that problem. So here's the, the splash screen that, that you'll get when you sometimes uh, connect your GPS. So we want to open up the GPS and file view. And here we see that this is a Garmin uh, Nuvi now. And here uh, the, the maps are not listed under the Garmin folder. Uh, in this case, you'll have a map folder and uh, the maps are stored under the map folder. So here you see our, our GPS Trail Masters map installed. And what it looks like on the Nuvies is you get two listings, but the names are identical. So you can't tell which is the background and which is the trail map. And as I indicated on, on some newer model GPSs, you cannot independently select these even if you remove the check mark from one the GPS will automatically remove it from the other and so this solves that problem as well. So again what we're going to do is go back to Basecamp and we go to map install and I'm just going to delete this file from the prior demonstration. So again we want to customize and in this case we have both a uh, snowmobile map 
and an ATV map um, that could possibly be installed. But we still want to go to advanced partial and the um, the two maps that are available on the computer here, the snowmobile map and the ATV map, are now listed in the in this pull down. So you want to make sure that you have the the correct map um, selected as you go through this. So in this case, we're still working with the ATV map. Uh, so we want to click on the ATV map. It indicates that two maps are selected for that ATV map, and you can see here the two maps. Um, shaded here in blue and shaded in green are the background map and the trail map. So again we'll right click to, to unselect the background map leaving only the trails. We have one total map selected here. We'll continue with that, install, finish. So then we go back to our My Computer window and again we rename this first map that we just installed to be trails. And again, we want to save a copy so that we can bring it back to the GPS in the final step. We save that by just dragging it over to our desktop. Then we install the background map, customize, advanced partial, right click to deselect the trails, left click to select the background map, continue, so now again we rename the second map that we just installed to be background and we copy the file previously saved onto the GPS in the same folder. Disconnect our GPS. And then what you'll see when you unplug the GPS and you go to the My Maps menu, you'll see the two trail maps listed However, one will have a, a subtitle under it that says ATV Trails, and one will have a subtitle that says Background, and you can, in fact, uh, select any combination um, of Background Map and Trail Map, uh, depending on, on your choice, and that can all be done in the field. So that concludes our, our first Tips and Tricks uh, demonstration.